All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you forward a domain name and how you create a subdomain name and forward that as well. Okay, so you've probably already created your GoDaddy account, and if you haven't, you got to click right here, click create account. Go ahead and go through that and get your account going. But if you've already have an account, go to your email, make sure you get your username and your password and then all you gotta do is log in. So I'm gonna log in really quick. Alright, I'm logged in and this is the main page. You'll see a bunch of different uh, banners, green ones here. Just hover over domains and click on my domains. Okay, this is what you should see here. Now you're not gonna have as many domains as I have. <laughs> I've been doing this a while but you'll have the one that you just barely purchased so go ahead and pick that and I'll show you what how to forward it you'll click on your domain that you purchased okay and then right here there's a little green arrow that says forward okay what you need to do is click that click forward what it's gonna do it's gonna pop up a, a window here and what you need to do is that this will be unchecked. You'll check enable forwarding. Okay, and then you'll also hit permanently. You go to masking tab and you'll make sure enable masking is checked. Okay, and then in this forward to, this is the website that you want your domain to be directed to. So when they type in Gene Life Profits or whatever website that you just barely bought this is where it's gonna go so let's say you just joined Mona V or Global Resorts or any program whatever program you're in they usually give you a website forward slash your username so that's what you put in here make sure you have HTTP colon slash slash www and then your website that you want your purchase domain to go to okay so you put that in there Make sure it's permanent, masking, and all you gotta do is click this little OK button. Alright, and then it says the changes have been submitted. Please allow a few minutes for the changes to take effect. That just means it's gonna take a little while to process. Usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes and you should see the changes in effect. So what I'm gonna do now, if you want to create a subdomain let's say you just forward that to your new splash page opt-in page that you just created now you want to create a subdomain to lead to your second page if you have two pages so all you gotta do to create a subdomain is you just go you scroll down and there'll be this little box here it says subdomains and I'll tell you how many is available Okay, all you have to do is click this little add button and then it's the same process as you did when you were forwarding your first domain but this time you create the subdomain so if there's going to a second page or an op like a introduction page or anything I usually just call it home so you just gotta create a home that's it and what a subdomain is is it's basically just taking the place of the www so it'll be your website would actually be http colon slash slash home dot whatever your website that you just purchased so that's what a subdomain is. it's just basically you put it in place of this www so you just pick a website make sure you do http that you want it to go to and we'll just pick one that I have Okay, this would just this would be the second page that you wanted to go to though. Click move permanently. Again, enable masking. And all you gotta do, go over here, click OK. And there you go. That'll take another 10-15 minutes again. And then both of them are good. So now you have your your main purchase site going to your splash page or opt-in page and then you have that home dot 
whatever your website is going to your second page so that's how you do that and if you have any questions give me a call and I'll answer them